Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and are having a flare free day. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about a very interesting piece of research that I found along the way this week on nasal endometriosis. I always talk on my channel how endometriosis is a full body systemic inflammatory disease that impacts uh, organs and tissues that are also outside of the pelvic region, like the lungs and the liver. Uh, but who knew that it could also impact our nasal cavity? So in today's video, I wanted to dive into to nasal endometriosis and how lesions have been found in small number of cases around the world in the nose and how nosebleeds can be a telltale sign of potential endometriosis in that area of the human body. So if this type of video interests you and intrigues you, then feel free to keep on watching. So first things first, menstruators around the world have a very unique ebb and flow of hormones that fluctuate throughout the menstrual cycle. Now hormone fluctuations throughout the month can cause different pains and symptoms that we experience specifically closer to our period. And that can include nosebleeds. Recurrent nosebleeds around the time of your period can impact anybody at any age. This phenomenon or this symptom is known as catamenial epistaxis, which is a huge word to just describe a nosebleed around the time of your period. Now for most individuals, nosebleeds are super common and nothing to be concerned about. Again, they're very common because of hormone fluctuations. The nose is actually particularly a sensitive part of the human body when it comes to hormone changes and fluctuations. We have to take care of our nose, okay? We gotta make sure it's okay. We gotta check in because it's super sensitive. Now when estrogen decreases in the human body, that's when capillaries, so small tiny blood vessels in the nose become super fragile. Because they're super fragile, nosebleeds are more common when the estrogen decreases around the time of our period. So again, if you have nosebleeds around the time of your period, definitely something to keep in a note of if it keeps happening to talk to your doctor about. But again, typically it's nothing to be super concerned about as it is a very common uh, symptom that can happen during someone's menstrual cycle. Cycle. Common nosebleed causes that are outside of a menstrual cycle and hormone fluctuations can be a change of season, dryness, scratching, some medicines, as well as an injury to the nose that may have happened. Individuals on blood thinners can also have more susceptibility to nosebleeds. Again, oftentimes nosebleeds are nothing to be concerned about, but definitely something to note in your journal of symptoms that happen around the time of your period, because it could be something more serious like endometriosis. Now, interestingly enough, endometriosis lesions uh, and tissue have been found and located in the nasal cavity in a small number of cases that have been published online. Presence of endometriosis in the nasal cavity was associated with pain during nosebleeds. So typically with a nosebleed, shouldn't be painful or shouldn't be excruciatingly painful. However, those with endometriosis, the majority experienced a lot of pain when it came to nosebleeds. Again, those individuals experienced painful nosebleeds around the time of their period. One example of someone who had endometriosis in their nasal cavity was a 35 year old female who reported five months of continuous nosebleeds around the time of her period. A nasal endoscopy revealed that endometriosis lesions were present. So during that nasal endoscopy, they took a bit of biopsy to test it in a lab to confirm if it was endo. And it was in fact confirmed to be endo based on histology. I'll post a couple more examples of nasal endometriosis if you're interested to read more in the description box below. Now, because there are limited cases documented around nasal endometriosis, it may be a rare location for endometriosis to present itself. Doesn't mean that it can't ever Ever present itself as we have a case in front of us. However, it's just something to be aware of that there are a small number of cases that have been documented around the world. Now pain when it comes to nosebleeds is definitely a telltale sign of potential endometriosis if it's recurring every single period that you have. However, there are other symptoms that may come forward that you should definitely seek medical support for in the immediate term. Some of these include a large amount of blood that is happening with the nosebleed, nosebleeds lasting longer than 30 minutes, feeling faint or lightheaded during that nosebleed, or a nosebleed that follows a fall or an accident. Now I do want to outline that there are other disorders that can cause nosebleeds around the time of menstruation. The first is thrombocytopenia, which is a huge word. Those with thrombocytopenia have cyclical nosebleeds around the time of their period. Typically, the drop in estrogen with this disorder can impact the immune system's ability to regulate platelets. 
Platelets are basically needed to clot bleeding. Those with this disorder have increased bruising as well as regular menstrual cramping. Those with this disorder, again, have common nosebleeds around the time of their period. So it's a very cyclical thing that happens with this symptom of the disease. If you have a lot of bruising around your body that you can't really put a name to why it might be there, as well as recurrent nosebleeds around the time of your period, that could be a telltale sign of this disorder that you may wanna check in with your doctor about. So just something to be aware of that there is another disorder that can cause consistent nosebleeds around the time of your period. So if you have symptoms related to pelvic endometriosis or any other area of the human body, as well as recurring nosebleeds around the time of your period that are painful, definitely something to talk to your doctor about nasal endometriosis and the possibility of it being in your nasal cavity. If you do experience some nosebleeds around the time of your period or any other time, here are some tips that can help you uh, deal with that nosebleed. The first is to sit up and lean forward, gently blowing your nose, again if it's not painful to do so, pinching the nose, and I'm sure talking with your medical doctor can provide other tips and tricks to help you with those nosebleeds. I do want to remind everybody that again endometriosis is a full body system systemic inflammatory disease and has been found in nasal cavities in small cases around the world. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video in the comments down below. With that, I cannot wait to talk to you on the next one.